Welcome viewers, and today we're doing round 18 of the F1 2013 season playthrough with me, F1 fan, and today we're going to Indianapolis with with um, Jensen Bussing, because why not? And, and we're also going to Indianapolis because it's the American Grand Prix this weekend. Um, more, actually, it's more like the Grand Prix of the Americas, which is the actual proper name for it. Going into the first corner, have a bit of contact and a bit of cutting. Yeah, and we seem to have settings on wide wide screen. I quite like it actually. <laughs> it's quite nice. Either way, oh god, um, I'm getting battered about a bit here. Um, <laughs> can't really say much about that. And so yeah, I haven't played this game in a while actually, but I played um, F1 2001 yesterday that's that's fun that's that's a really fun game as you may have seen i did a compilation of it of crashes for it and well that's what it's best for really that game crashes because unlike because this game is unlike f1 2001 it doesn't have good crash damage well it has the same crash damage as f1 2001 but doesn't have the same sort of crashes that they have on F1 2001. They're kind of over the top, R factorish crashes on F1 2001. Whereas on F1 2004 and 2006, they're closer to real life crashes. Which, honestly, if I had to choose, I'd go for the unrealistic ones because they're a lot more fun. Either way, uh, we're in seventh after losing another position 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 to Ralph Schumacher in his Williams and well it doesn't be doing too well we're, we're not catching we're not losing okay we are losing quite a lot of time actually but nothing else we can do about it so I managed to make this a three lap race because I'm a bit of an idiot and I forgot that it's usually a five lap race and this is an extremely short track actually so this could be a rather short video, come to think of it, which I apologise for, but, but, I don't think you'll mind, hopefully, don't mind, please don't mind. So we're coming on to the, I'm not sure if I call this a start finish straight, but I call this bit the start finish straight, but I'm not sure about the banking bit, because technically that's a corner. So yeah, we're under pressure from Chris Yama de Mata. I think that's his name anyway. I know it's the matter, but I'm not sure what his first name is. And I lost a position to him. Once again I lose another position through the first corner. And maybe oh, I lost another one as well there. So just fly through this corner and break up here. Yeah. Oh yeah, and this year is of course the second year of the um uh, circuit of the Americas. And I quite liked it last year, especially because Vettel didn't win, but got overtaken by Hamilton and it is McLaren at that point. Oh, we're getting under pressure from Massa in his Sauber. Of course, next year he's going to Williams, if you didn't know that. I, 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 I'll just tell you there. Yeah, next year he's going to Williams, so that's... That's yeah, fairly weird, but... Oh god, we're scraping against the wall here. We're, we're, we kind of did a bit of an eagle block in there actually. But either way, we're coming home to finish in ninth, and we might have lost the front wing there. So, well, Takuma Sato finished four. Oh yeah, of course, he's in his BAR, not in his um, 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 Super Gearery, which I was thinking he was in. But obviously he's not. And so yeah, that about rounds it up for this video. It's been rather short, I have to admit. Um, I finished in ninth. So there was not much really exciting race either. But even so, yeah, I like racing on this game. <laughs> so yeah, um, that. No, I, I think that's pretty much it for this video. What, what team's clean racing for? I forgot. Well, I know he raced for 
Red Bull in 2006. But either way, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.